think I've just seen the worst article ever written. So it comes from The Guardian and it's called The Rise of British Court, 100 Experiences That Define and Unite Modern Britain. Now, I've had a quick glance at this list and I'd say about 70% of the things on this list nobody has ever done before. So today I thought we'd look through this list and maybe uh, connect on a few things here. Maybe you've done some of these things on this list. Probably not. <laughs> because I don't think anyone's done most of the things on this list. But we're going to have a look through it anyway. In the past month or so, British core has very much become a thing. What are you talking... <laughs> has it? <laughs> that is a... That has gone over my head. That's flown off my radar. Or more accurately, a thing. Ah, because we don't say thing, we say thing. Void up by Brat Summer and Oasis Mania. The practice of embracing the nafis... Okay, anyway, let's just read the list. Arming and iron with your partner for 10 minutes over whether to share a nun and then just, just getting one each because you only live once. Ah... Uh... No, I, I, I couldn't say I've done that. I couldn't have gone, ah, oh, you only live once. Let's get two naan. Two naan between two people? That's outrageous. Four naan, Jeremy. Four. Encouraging the entire pub to erupt into cheers when someone smashes a glass. Okay, I feel as like I might be being a bit pedantic here, but I've never encouraged. I'm going, guys, let's go way. Come on, guys. Way. Everyone just goes, way. It's a natural response. Flawlessly lip syncing to, if you see something that doesn't look right, speak to station staff or British transport police. See it, say it sources on the train to Bristol Temple. It's a very, I've, ne I've never even heard of that train station, but uh, I don't, <laughs> has, has anyone ever done that? Guys, have you ever lip synced to the to the British Transport Police announcement? Having a mate called Danny whose nickname is Danzo because he's the king of Lanzo. The fuck is Lanzo? What do you mean Lanzarotti? Our mate, <laughs> yeah, our mate Danny who's the king of Lanzo, so we call him Danzo. No, no. <laughs> <laughs> Who wrote this? <laughs> Who wrote this has to have been written by ChatGPT or something. Getting incensed at a five pence price hike on meal deals, but then dropping 50 quid on four Moretti's. So where are you paying 50 quid for four? Where 50 quid for four pints? I don't think anyone has ever paid 50 quid for four Moretti's. Spending double the amount of money on a holiday to Cornwall as a holiday to Portugal. Okay, yeah. Yeah, that, uh, yeah. I've never done that, but UK getaways are expensive. A microwave shepherd's pie for two, a bottle of cast uh, that's wine, I think, and a nice bit of Kirsty and, who are Kirsty and Phil? <laughs> who are they? Are they just making people up? <laughs> Also, a micro shepherd's pie. That's foul. Brushing once to munch dust off the barber jacket you got for a fiver at Oxfam. That's, I mean, that has probably happened to someone. Keeping all your travel toiletries in a crinkled Sainsbury's bag for life. Yeah, sure. My wife told me to stop playing Wonderful. I said, okay, yeah, yeah, yeah. That's funny joke. Funny joke. Uh, insisting to anyone who will listen that Chicken Run is hands down the best film ever made. I mean, I don't think I've ever heard anyone say Chicken Run is hands down the best movie ever made. It's, it's, a, it's a good movie. Good. It's not the best, though. I don't think anyone thinks it is the best. Best. Arriving in Antalya on your holly bobs and confidently ordering Dos What? what? Dos Versas Pore Favore? Antalya's in Turkey. I think you're trying to do Spanish here. Being informed by your dad after five pints that if he'd had to shag a what? Being informed by your dad after five pints that if he had to shag a bloke, it would be Kevin McLeod from Grand Designs. I think this is an experience nobody has ever gone through. Um, Realising at least half your glassware is comprised of branded pint glasses from the pub around the corner. Yeah, that happens. Not to me, because I'm not a thief. I'm a good boy. I don't steal glasses. Referring to a Tesco hoisting duck wrap as world cuisine. No one's ever done that. A nice soothing stroll around B&Q to look at the paints. I mean, I more look at the garden furniture if I go to B&Q. I find that more relaxing. Remember your school houses were all named after either famous colonizers or famous murderers. What kind of school do you go to? It was, mine was just like named after places in the area. Are you in like House Ted Bundy or something? <laughs> House Raul Moat. <laughs> Raving about the amazing crisp selection at Londis. Uh, no, no, no one, I don't think anyone's raved about anything in a Londis. Saying it's five o'clock somewhere while ordering two pints of Strongbow dark fruit at 11 a.m. in an airport Weatherspoons. I mean, that's probably happened. Listening to end dubs at the back of the bus with no head phones only if you were an absolute weapon joining a whatsapp group called malvern hills massive don't even know what malvern hills is knowing at least one person who was an extra in the harry potter films yeah okay yeah i'll give him that i'll give him that i yeah i know a fair few people that know people who are extras in the harry potter films leaving a baby shower gunning your fiat punto down the road then turning to your mate and saying so not to be catty but i don't even know what any of that means really getting into a physical fight over which is better scampi fries or bacon fries spoiler or like neither. Point blank refusing to watch the episodes of, J of Jonathan Creek. It's Jonathan Creek that don't have Caroline Quentin in them. They're just making up people now, I swear. I, I probably upset some big Jonathan Creek fans, but 
I, I feel as though they're just making this up. Jonathan Cree. That can't be. Who's this guy? It's a BBC show from 1997. No wonder I've never heard of it. Apparently it's got good reviews. What's it saying on IMDb? Jonathan Creek, a magician with a natural ability for solving puzzles, works from his home in a converted woman who uses his abilities to solve impossible crimes in mysterious man. All right, that sounds like something I'd like to be fair. Having a 10 minute discussion about whether the sound of pigeons cooing is a banger. No one's ever done that. Saying you're just going for one, then ending up at a drag night in Cardiff two days later with, uh, this is just, you're doing too much here. You're doing too much. Insisting to a horrified Italian that lasagna is quint a quintessentially British dish. No one's ever gone, yeah, lasagna, that beautiful British dish. <laughs> Tw number 29, watching Waterloo Road. I mean, yeah, yeah. That. <laughs> <laughs> oh, oh, all these are like weirdly specific things that have probably maybe happened to like one person and then the, other one, the, the number 29 is just watching Waterloo Road, a very popular TV show. Yeah, yeah. We did do that. Making a baby Guinness by just filling a shot glass with Guinness. That's not what baby Guinness is. 15 years later, still imitating the X Factor announcer guy saying Rachel Adjadei. I mean, I've never heard anyone say that except for the X Factor announcement guy, I think. Referring to... What? Referring to Buckingham Palace as Bucky P or Bucko Pal. If I overheard someone in the street referring to Buckingham Palace as Bucky P or Bucko Pal, I'd RKO them on the spot. Your dad warning you about bamboo taking over the back garden as if it's the coming of the apocalypse. Where Where is bamboo growing in the UK? That's not native to here. Walking into a greasy spoon with a hangover and ordering a fat sausage sarni and a runny egg. I mean, yeah, someone has probably done that. Referring to Magaluf as Shagaluf. Yeah, that's, yeah. A Dr. Urka pizza, a couple of cold ones and a nice bit of university challenge. N I know. Pretending you think Pret is a corporate capitalist conspiracy while knowing full well you'll go there for an egg and cress sandwich and sea salt and cider vinegar crisps every weekday lunchtime from now until you die. What? I don't even, I barely know what this means. You think Pret is a corporate capitalist conspiracy? I mean, it's a sandwich shop. Um, well, and it was egg and cress. Are you a wronger? Considering splashing out on a hotel chocolate gift box for your sister's birthday, then just getting a guy and seashells like always. Yeah. Yeah, I've done that. Yeah, I don't have a sister, but yeah. Spending your drink on a Mikita Oliver at a squat party. In uh, that again, this is, it uh, feels like these things are just hyper specific. Falling asleep on a bench in a children's playground in Bedford. Yeah, no. Uh, dressing for a night out in minus three weather in Strappy Hills. Uh, I mean, I can't relate to that one. Following Jane, who's Jane McDonald? Following Jane McDonald on Instagram. Reminiscing about your 10th birthday party at Pizza Express. Uh, I didn't even know they did birthday parties. Do you remember when McDonald's used to do birthday? Did McDonald's still do birthday parties? Never seen one occur in the wild, but you know, I, I used to have them as a child. Being absolutely dev devo. Devo. Do you mean to say devastated? Devo. Being absolutely devo that the pubs run out of Scotch eggs. I don't think anyone's ever been devastated that someone's ran out of Scotch eggs. Pretending to not know who David Dickinson is, he's from uh Antiques Roadshow, I think. I'm just going to read out like the worst ones now because I feel as though a lot of these are just ones I don't understand or are just boring, like pretending to not know who David Dickinson is. Trying to add Snap, Crackle and Pop from the Rice Krispies ads to your Instagram close friend stories. What does that even mean? They're fictional characters. They don't have it. Do they have Instagram accounts? They're mascots for cereal. Mascots for children's cereal. They don't have Instagram. What would be the purpose of, having, of them having an Instagram? And how would you even know that? If they did have an Instagram. What are you searching for them? I don't think they do. I don't even know how I'll go about finding that. Oh my god. Referring to Sainsbury's as Saney Bees or Sanos. Saney B No one has ever referred to Sainsbury's as Sanos or Saney B. Saney B. Saney B. I'm gonna start doing that now. That's that's so disgusting. I'm gonna start doing that. Referring to Smirnoff Ice as Smice. No. Referring to why like half of these just things like this. Referring to the pandemic as the Paddy D. It's not two words. The Panny D. Oh, disgusting. Joining in with a busker on their rendition of Valerie and being really offended when they rightly tell you to piss off. Uh, no, I don't think that's happened to anyone. Using The Sims 4 to build a scale model of Barnsley Shopping Centre. Yeah, we've all done that. We've all done that one. Fired a bit of the old Simi 4s up to build a <laughs> to build Barnsley Shopping Centre. Having zero understanding of Taco Bell. It's a fast food restaurant. You go, can I have two tacos, please? They'll go, yes, here's two tacos. It's, it's a fast food restaurant. How dumb are you if you don't understand, <laughs> don't understand Taco Bell? What do you mean you have zero understanding of it? Marching into a Turkish barber's and requesting a sick fade. No one has ever done that ever. That would be so embarrassing. Oh, yeah, just sit down in a chair to, uh, with a with a, a barber you don't know. Yeah, yeah, mate. Just, uh, just give me a sick fade. Yeah. Well, that's that. Um, have you done any of these things? Let me know in the comments. I think I've maybe done like five or six of the things on this list. I don't think there's anyone out there that's done all of them. Or even half. I don't think there's anyone out here that has done a third of the things on here. Like and subscribe.